Tiffany Puppy Feather or Lily, whatever you want to call me. While editing my last video, I realized that like I was so hot that I completely forgot how I normally do my intro. So my apologies. <laughs> I feel like I should show you guys all of my riding stuff, everything I use, everything I wear, all that. Um, because I actually got a request to do this video by right here. Um and I was like, you know what, that's a really good idea. Like, that sounds really fun to do. So I was like, you know what, I'll just do it when I, like, get my own tack box. Um, and then I have to clean everything. And I got my own tack box and I have to clean everything. So I'm, like, halfway through cleaning everything. Or, like, a quarter. <laughs> but, anyways. Um, so I'm going to start off with all the ear bonnets and saddle pads that I own. I think most, at least. Because I think one of my saddle pads is at my dad's house that'll not be in the video but i'll probably not put it in the video anyways because a friend gave it or let me buy it off of her as my first ever saddle pad but it has her old um barn name on it i believe so i don't really want to show that on youtube anyways but if you want to see the color and everything it's in like really far down in my um shorts like one of my first ever videos and it was of like the graduation show. I wore the saddle pad in it, if you wanna see that. Um, but anyways, let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the Lemire. As you can see, I already have one hanging up here because it is two out of the four saddle pads that I've washed. Um, so you know what, I'm just gonna start with that. So this is my lovely, mink lemire saddle pad it's like the close i mean you'll see it it's the jumping one um i love this one i really want one of the lore lemire saddle pads but they're kind of expensive and i don't feel like wasting my money on that um because it'll probably come up to like 150 200 dollars because whenever i get a saddle pad i have to get either an ear bonnet well, I have to get the ear bonnet with it and a shirt to match it. Um, but I got lucky with my equestrian Stockholm. But anyways, this is the mink. It, I got this one when, it, I mean, it's still on sale because no one wants it for some reason, even though it's like so pretty. I love it. I need to cut off these things because they literally have no use to me at least. Um, and I still have them on all my saddle pads and I need to get them off. But this is the large, um, whenever I get a saddle pad or half pad or brushing boots or something or ear bonnet, I always get the large or full or extra large because I personally prefer bigger horses and I know that I never ride ponies, especially at my new barn because they don't really have any ponies except for a really small one and I know I will never be on her because she cannot jump very high and she's small <laughs> so anyways large lemire saddle pad mink it's also still wet because i literally just took it out of the wash um so that's nice my routine in clean saddle pads is take a lint roller or something to get off all the hair or as much as you possibly can obviously you cannot get all of it off because it's practically impossible because the fur like gets into it um so as much as you can off as possible and then you if it's a lighter saddle pad that has like stains and stuff on it take a stain remover like or something like that and just spray it on let it sit and then put it into the wash put i like to put a few tide pods or detergent whatever you use like a, a lot and then vinegar white vinegar um like they use for like coloring easter eggs or whatever um, but vinegar to get rid of that nasty smell that saddle pads will have. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but anyways, let's move on to the next saddle pad. So this saddle pad is my first ever Lemire saddle pad that I've ever had or owned. Um, as you can see, it's dirty. It's the papaya um, close contact square. I don't know what it's called. I, the papaya, I honestly really like it. Um, I prefer it over the watermelon or melon, whatever it's called, because it's more of a corally color instead of a pink. So it's really nice. But the only thing is finding a shirt that isn't from Lemire to match it is practically impossible because it's like a very specific color. But I've washed this a few times and obviously it still looks fine. Um, here's the inside. Jump scare warning. Mmm, yum. I, I haven't washed this since I got the tack box. I don't know when that was. <laughs> also in large, very dirty. So yeah, I would just put like stain remover here. I need to wash that. So next saddle pad is my favorite. <gasps> this one's my favorite, the sage. Um, personally, I feel like greens, especially sage green, look best on me. And that's why I love this one so much. Um, it's also a very pretty color. I love sage, sage green is my favorite color. Um, but yeah. It's also large, um, very pretty. Let's look at the inside. So clean. I've used this only like twice, so it's gonna be clean. Again, I need to cut these off because I don't have a point for them. Love it. Definitely recommend if you like greens. So that's all the Lemire saddle pads. Um, next I'm going to go to my Equestrian Stockholm one. So this is the only Equestrian Stockholm one I have and I definitely, definitely want more. I have a list, <laughs> but this is the navy, I forget what it's called, but it's the navy and white. Doesn't look very navy. Oh, well there, you can kind of see it. But I really like this one. You also don't really need a half pad with it because it's like a gel pad. Ignore how dirty it is. Um, it's like a gel, gel um, saddle pad. But I've used this so many times, I love it. I also love how Equestrian Stockholm has like a little mirror thing very pretty definitely recommend equestrian stockholm lemire and equestrian stockholm are my two favorite um horse gear brands so definitely recommend on to the two saddle pads that i barely use anymore so i like to hang some of like the saddle pads i don't want to keep at the barn i like to hang them like in my closet so okay so this is just like a gold glittery saddle pad. I really got it for Halloween um, because I I was an angel and the horse I was riding was a unicorn and we went with like a gold, white, and black theme. So I just got like a glittery saddle pad off of Etsy, I think. I don't know. Um, I like it. I just hate glitter. Really hate glitter, which is why I never use it anymore. And I've washed my half pads like 10 times and there's still glitter on them from when I use this. I despise glitter, it gets everywhere, which is why I never use this because the glitter gets everywhere. If the glitter didn't get everywhere, then I would happily still use it all the time, sometimes. <laughs> um, also, I haven't cleaned it in a while, but I'm not gonna clean it because I don't plan on using it anytime soon. So yeah. Um, next for my saddle pads, and last one that I'm gonna show you is my red one, but I don't use it anymore. I used to use it all the time, but I don't use it anymore because I made it Christmas themed. Um, so there's really no point in me using it right now because why would I use it when it's not Christmas? Um, and I never even used it when it was Christmas because I never got the chance to, but Christmas, I promise you, I will use it. Um, I don't like the other side. This, if you couldn't tell, this is the side I started with. It's a little janky looking, but we only like this side. The right side. The right side is always the best side. I don't know why. But anyways, that's why I don't use the red one anymore, because I made it course Christmas themed. And then, I don't really know what to count this one. Saddle pad, half pad, my hunter pad. I need to clean it. It is dirty. 
Um, and I only used it once, which was for the show. Look how dirty it is. But I love this. I got it from my tack place that sells like used stuff. This was used and the fur is still like super fluffy and nice. Um, there's the inside. Um, I don't know the brand. I don't think it says it anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't say it anywhere. And if it did, I would definitely tell you guys. But it doesn't say anything. Hunter pad for shows. So the two last things that are saddle pad related are my half pads. Um, I love them. I definitely recommend these ones because these are actually pretty cheap for Amazon or for half pads, I guess. Um, but first is my black one. Um, ignore the white fur on it. That is from washing both of my half pads together. Don't do it unless you want white fur all over. Um, but the brand is Arma. I really like it. This is the large size. I got it off of Amazon. And if you look closely, you can see all the glitter from the gold saddle pad. Isn't that great? No. Um, anyways, here's the inside. Again, white fur, ignore that. Not from a horse or whatever. Um, but yeah, the white armor, Arma, sorry, Arma half pad. Again, it's literally the black one, just white. Um, with all the black fur on it. Can't forget that. Um, the only thing is that even though I washed it, it's kind of an off yellow color, but that's not the brand's fault. It's the dirt's fault. I was thinking about washing it twice, but then I was like, what's the point in trying to do it twice when it's just gonna get dirty again like the first time? So yeah, um, but here's the inside. Super, this, it's like super fluffy, like amazingly fluffy. Um, and then all you have to do if you want to like make it like the fluffy look again is just take like a metal brush or something and then just brush it through. Um, and yeah, saddle pads and half pads. Also, this is also in the large size. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to move on to ear bonnets now. For my ear bonnets, I'm going to start off with the Lemire ones. First, I have my papaya. Um, this is also the first Lemire ear bonnet I've ever gotten. This is in the size extra large. I like it. I just wish this wasn't like purple. I wish it was like black, but that's the only thing I don't like about the papaya one. And I just roll up my ear bonnet, so. Next one is the mink ear bonnet. This one is actually really, really pretty. Like, it's super pretty. I don't understand why people don't like this color that much. I I love it. It's probably one of my favorite Lumiere colors. Um, but basically, I'm gonna show you how I fold it on this one. All right, so I take it, I put the, like this part, I flip it like that, and then put the ears to the outside, and then roll it like this. And it's like a cute little, little case. Okay, so next ear bonnet that I have is the Sage um, ear bonnet. I also love this. Amazing color, it's gorgeous. Um, my lighting does not show these colors very well. So they're all slightly different than what my camera is showing. So sorry about that. But you guys are probably gonna yell at me and be like, why don't you keep your like ear bonnets and the little thing that Lemire comes with? Um, maybe because I don't like it. It like takes up a lot of space unless I'm like going to hang it like somewhere. Like I just keep it in my tack trunk. So anyways, like I said, take this, take this part and put it up in the back. Then take the ears, put it into the front and then roll. And then I just take like a rubber band or a hair tie or something and then just tie it on. So those are all my Lemire ones. Next is my Equestrian Stockholm one that matches the saddle pad. Actually, I don't think I've used this one yet. Or I did, I don't remember. Um, I don't think I have because I got it for my birthday. Oh no, I've used it. I can see a little bit. Um, but this one's really cute. 
I like how in questions Doc Collins is like a little bit more fancy and has like ripples and then it's like more long but this one's really cute I really like this one. Oh, it has the little plastic thing on it still that I always forget to take off with a question in Stockholm. Super pretty. Um, the only thing is weird is that these are like really flimsy compared to the Lemire ones. The Lemire ones are like stiff as a rock. And I'll show you. See how this one like doesn't flop around, I guess? Like, and then this one like, does like it's very very it's still like good quality it's just made differently and it's obvious um also the holes on these ones are a lot bigger compared to the Lemire these ones are more like closely stitched and made to look different or good or something I don't know but anyways the last earbond I have is the gold one that matches the gold saddle pad Again, I never use it. Um, I, so it came with like the little string. I hate the string so much, but I don't want to cut it off because then I don't have to like use a rubber band or something to tie it up. Um, but it's whatever, cause I don't even use it that much anyways. But I used to use this a lot. It's been through a couple washes um, but it's still, like, kind of small, um, and again, I got it off Etsy, I believe, either eBay or Etsy, I don't know, there's a lot of the glitter saddle pads, so there's, like, that'll look the same, so, um, but, I mean, it's good quality, just, I hate glitter, so I never use it, um, one of the rhinestones also came off, and I lost it in the dirt, and then I found it again. I don't know which one it was because I glued it back on. That's all the ear bonnets I own. And for the ear bonnets, you guys are probably like, well, where do you keep them? Like, do you just like throw them into the tack trunk and put them into a pile? No. When I bought from Equestrian Stockholm, the I got brushing boots, which I will show in a second, but the brushing boots came in like a little bag. And this is the bag. Um, only thing is that the zipper broke which I'm really upset about. So it's kind of like just always open. That doesn't really matter because I don't like carry it around or anything. But basically all I do is I just like stack them in here. So I like put them in and like, you can fit a lot in here. You can fit a lot of the earbuds in here. Sorry, hang on, let me show you. See, this is, this is five ear bonnets. You can probably fit like 10 in here. Cause like probably two or three can stack up here. Then like two more rows, so like two, four, six, eight, ten, so like eleven, like ten to eleven ear bonnets in here. Or you can just stuff them in. I might do in the f that in the future if I need to, if I can't get another one of these bags. But I really like this. Um, speaking of the brushing bit bag, here are the brushing boots that I got from Equestrian in Stockholm. They are the navy blue ones. Again, you can't really tell because of the lighting. Sorry. Ooh, it's in my hair. Um, I really like these. These are like really high quality. These are like my favorite ones I've ever used. I don't like Lemire's. They look really cheap and poorly made for how much money they are. Um, and they just look like plastic, I guess. Well, these ones like, they're like really good. And the fluff in them is like really nice. If you're ever gonna get um, brushing boots, like from some place, I definitely recommend Equestrian Stockholm because I use these all the time. I want the black, or I want black ones, even though these look pretty close to black, they still like look weird when I use them with um, other colors, if you look close enough. But anyways, they come as this off-white color, which I like because then when you get them dirty, you're not like, oh my god, I got them dirty and I can't get the stains out of them. So they come out, like, they come probably slightly brighter than this, <clears throat> but I've used them a lot and I just washed them. Um, but anyways, I definitely really like these. So I definitely would recommend Equestrian Stockholm if you're looking to get some brushing boots. And then you put this in your tack trunk. So currently here's my tack trunk. Obviously it's not this messy. Um, so let me just show you guys everything that's in here. Okay, so first I'm going to show you what I keep in my horseback bag. 
aka this one it's my mom's old betsy johnson bag um and she gave it to me because she doesn't use it anymore and it's already dirty and stuff so yeah right now i just keep my helmet um in it and i think now i'm gonna keep it in my tag trunk if i have room afterwards because when i was sharing it with annabelle i didn't keep my helmet or boots or anything in it because it was too crowded but anyways my helmet um i use this hat silk as like something to like make sure it doesn't get scratched if i'm like walking around with my bag and i drop it or i'm walking around with my helmet and i accidentally drop it or something the Lemire hat silk. I got it first um, with my old helmet because I did not take good care of my old helmet. It was an ovation helmet. I would just like strap it like to the strap of my bag and like I would put my bag down and it would touch the ground and it would scratch and it was always on sand so it was very scratched up and then when I realized hmm, maybe I should start taking care of my helmet um, I decided to put black paint on it but I was like, hmm, that's gonna scratch off. So I put shiny Mod Podge on it, which made it look terrible. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm buying a hat silk because this looks ugly. So that's the story of the hat silk. Um, and it actually does a decent job. I still like have troubles keeping it good looking, but at least it's not as bad as it used to be. Also, I did scratch it up when I got thrown off of a horse however many weeks ago at the western place so yeah um but anyways my helmet is an irh i got it off of dover i think um and then my gloves i need new ones actually because these ones are getting really gross and old but i use the heritage ones um i like them i like physically cannot ride without gloves and gloves they all kind of feel the same so heritage it is so that's the helmet and then i always keep a portable charger in my bag just in case i need it i also keep all of my treats in my bag so these are the treats these are one of the treats i use um i really like them i got them for free just free treats that they gave me zero proof horse treats i also keep a bunch of mints and horse cookies um in it as well i also have my ho uh hair net in here which I should probably put away, because that's gross. <laughs> Only one more treat left from Happy's Horse Treats. I got it from uh, as, a, as a prize from my first show, because I got reserve champion. Um, so, yeah. And I, there were four in here, and I've gone through three, because I don't like using stuff. <laughs> um, but this girl, she actually goes to my new barn, um, and she actually, she's, she's like pretty famous, I guess but I definitely recommend her treats. They're actually really cute and nice. So I always keep my allergy pills because if you guys don't know, I'm like really badly allergic to the dust. Um, so these are the ones I take. I mean, you can really take any. They're literally called allergy medicine, so. And then I always have a hair clip in case I need it. Um, and this is just like a scarf thing that you wet before you ride and you put it over your, like around your neck and it helps you stay cool. Um, I only use it during the summer because I get hot really easily. Um, so it's time to start wearing it again. Yay. And I also have Advil in case like I get growing pain or have a headache or something while at the barn. Lastly, what I'm gonna show you guys is my riding boots. These are the ones I use. They're a little dirty. I'll clean them, don't worry. But it's the horse brand. Um, I got them from my local saddlery, um, and they're just tall boots, uh, but I really like them, so yeah. Um, I also have mucking boots or rain boots, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're at my dad's house though, so I forgot those, but I just got like rain boots off of Amazon and they work perfectly fine. I wear them all the time, even when I'm not going to the barn. Like, if I'm too lazy to tie my shoes, I just put on my boots and I go. <laughs> But yeah, and one more thing I forgot to say that I keep in my bag is hand sanitizer and my tripod, so. Okay, so as you can tell, it's nighttime now. Next is everything that's grooming supplies. So before I show you the grooming supplies, I'm just going to show you my crops. Um, 
This one is the one I use all the time because it's like medium and it's also, I like it because this like makes noise. With the crop, I never actually hit the horse unless I physically need to, which I do if the horse isn't listening, but usually I just like, I'll show my like, basically I just like pretend that this is my leg, but see how it makes that noise, which like makes the horse like wake up a bit. It's very useful. I love this. I wish it wasn't bent. <laughs> I like, I'll put water on it to like straighten it and then put it like flat. It'll bend again, but it's fine because it doesn't really matter. But my favorite one, definitely get this. So then I have this crop, um, just like a long dressage crop -y. not really dressage because this is like, it's, I mainly had it because two of the horses that I rode at my old barn really needed a longer crop. I don't know if I'll really use this that much anymore. This was cute. This is just from Amazon. Um, I don't really like it that much. I mean, it's a crop, but you can't really take this off unless you cut it off, which is really annoying. And also this was extremely hard to put on. So lastly, I just have this really short, like really short jumping crop. Um, cross country crop, whatever you, your eventing crop, whatever you want to call it. Also, this is from my local saddlery. So yeah. On to the bottles and stuff that I use. Grooming supplies will be after that. Firstly, green spot remover and show sheen. Two essentials, especially show sheen. There's actually not that much in here now that I'm holding it. We went to the Arabian Horse Show and bought green spot remover and um, show sheen. And when we did so, we, we thought that we would be sharing it for a while, but now that I'm switching, we're not sharing it anymore. So I had to split it into two bottles. This is the green spot remover and this is the show sheen. This one looks like a lot. Um, it's really not, as you can see. Um, I might fill it up a little bit more, but I don't know because there's not that much green spot remover. We actually use like a lot, um, but yeah, these are them. This bottle is from Amazon. Thank you, Annabelle, for getting me this. Um, and then this one's from TJ Maxx. I like it because it's already green, so. Next, um, I just have a bottle of water um, for cleaning my saddle spraying on me if I get hot something um there's multiple different options if you twist it just a little bit it'll be more of a mist and if I twist it a lot it'll be more of a stream so keep that in mind I got these off of Amazon too and then this one is just a fly spray homemade fly spray with water vinegar and eucalyptus oil um it actually works pretty well um, and yeah, all you do is mix it together. There's a recipe online. I don't know the recipe off the top of my head. You just shake it before you use it and then spray it on. So pretty simple, pretty easy. And the last two bottles I have in here are my tech cleaners, saddle stuff. Um, this one's a shampoo. It's step one. And then this one is the conditioner. I really like these. Um, the brand of my saddle recommended these work best for the saddle um so yeah that's what these are so i have these bathing gloves um they're just from amazon pretty easy i actually haven't used them yet because i got them for my birthday from annabelle um and this was after the show so i didn't get to use them before the show um but they're very nice i like them thank you annabelle again i also have this purple shampoo that i used when i bathed holly Purple shampoo. Also from, no, I don't think it's from Amazon. I think it's from Amazon, I don't remember. <laughs> but purple shampoo, white and bright, that's the brand. Mane and tail brush, I really like this brush a lot. Um, it's by Tough One. It doesn't break or anything. It does really, really well with the mane and tail. Like leaves them really silky and smooth and nice. Um, so yeah, I like this brush. This is a shedding blade I use, pretty simple. 
I got it also from my local saddlery. So, oh, and the mane and tail brush I got from the local saddlery too. And then I have this sponge from local saddlery and then a sweat scraper, local saddlery. I really want one of the like curved ones that like you hold and go like that, but this is cheap, easy. Yeah, here's my curry comb. Um, I've had it since the very beginning, very dirty. I found a life hack that the next time you shampoo a horse, um, take, use your curry and curry comb the, like the shampoo in instead of the gloves if you want. Um, it's like a two-in-one situation where you clean the curry and you clean your horse. Here's my hoof pick. It's dirty. It's a hoof pick. Local saddlery. <laughs> um, for the face, I have this face brush. It's called a tail tamer. Um, I only use it for the face, nowhere else. Um, as you can see, the horse faces are very dirty. Here's my magic brush. I love my magic brush. I actually haven't been using it that much because I don't really need to, surprisingly. But this is from Amazon. Just look up magic brush and it's amazing. This is from my local saddlery. Here are my two dandy brushes. This is my hard brush, local saddlery. And here's my soft brush. Um, also local saddlery. The brand for this one is Tail Tamer. I don't know the brand for this one because it doesn't say anything. But I love these. Then when I clean my saddle, I have these um, microfiber. They're from Amazon. The brand is ECP, Equine Comfort Products from Amazon. Um, and there's three of them. It comes in a three pack. So you don't have to get them separately. Um, and one is for the shampoo, the conditioner, the water. I actually need to put these in the wash because they are washable, which is very nice. So, yeah. And then with those, I have this very dirty rag. It used to be like a very light yellow. I miss when it was very light yellow. <laughs> now it's not really. Um, but this came with my um grooming bag so i don't really have somewhere that you can get it unless you want to get the whole grooming bag it was like 40 50 dollars um but it holds a lot and it was from amazon so i also keep this toothbrush in it just to like deep clean anything that i need to so like scrub inside the curry comb scrub inside like the like the hard to get bits of my boots this is the Grooming bag. This is where I keep my two spray bottles. Here, I'll show you guys from a bird's eye view. So, on the sides, you will see that there's like a Velcro. Um, I think I'm actually going to make these brushes separate from each other since I have an extra hole right here. So, here's where I keep my face brush and magic brush, my uh, mane and tail brush, all my spray bottles, and my purple shampoo. De shedding blade sponge, gloves, and sweat scraper, huff pick, my two dandy brushes. This is where I keep my rags that I use my, like, use to clean my saddle with. Um, fly spray and water, curry chrome and toothbrush. Here I actually have just a rubber band. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> Who needs a rubber band? Um, and then over here is where I keep the dirty yellow rag and yeah So now it's time to show you guys all of my riding clothes. Yes. I love my riding clothes so much I like to keep my hair ties at the barn um, or I like to keep extra ones just in case I forget mine because sometimes I'll accidentally bring it home My main one. It's a dark brown. I actually think it's at my dad's house need to get that I just keep extra ones in here just in case I forget one um, and I don't have one in my car or something. Um, but this little tub thing fits these perfectly. It's, I got a Stranger Things duck. It was Hopper. Um, and I just use this for it because it's like the perfect size. And you can just pop it down in there. Um, I usually have like a little bucket that I just put it in. That's my brother. Okay, so I am ready for bed. And I was like, oh... I forgot to show my riding clothes because I got distracted by cleaning the last saddle pad, putting it in the wash, 
putting all the stuff into the tag trunk, which I will show you tomorrow. I think I'm gonna start with my riding shirts for first. So first I'll start with my Lemire. So this is my only Lemire riding shirt. Um, it's the sage green. Um, it's the base layer, the long sleeve base layer. It's actually slightly too big for me, but it still fits. I really like it. I really want more Lemire base layers, but they're really expensive. Um, and that's why I really only get the um, your bonnet and the saddle pad. And if I'm lucky, I'll sometimes get the shirt, but that's like $200 for just three items. So that's why I don't really buy that much Lemire. Um, but yeah. Next, I just have like a long sleeve white um, shirt. It's very lightweight. Um, and my dad actually went to Costco and got these, or when we went to Peru for a medical mission, um, and we went to the Amazon, and that's why he got these, so that they are lightweight and thin, but still cover us from the mosquitoes and stuff. Um, um, I can't see the brand because when you wash it, it kind of does this. Um, which is the only annoying thing about it, but you can't like feel it on you um, when you're wearing it. But this is what I like to wear um, for riding with long sleeve shirts. For the rest of the video, you're probably going to be hearing my brother. I'm sorry about that. Um, but this is the exact same um, shirt, just in like the pinky corally color that matches my papaya. This is like the only shirt I've ever found that actually looks bright and like matches the papaya which I'm very lucky <laughs> um but now I have to find a short sleeve shirt that matches the papaya because this this is too hot for the summer even though it's lightweight it's still like really hot but this one the brand actually didn't wash off but here's the brand 32 degree cool I really like them um and they it did come with more colors just those shirts are at my dad's it came with the black and two icy blue colors, so yeah. And for the last shirt that I wear for riding, um, actually no, not the last shirt. The last shirt I actually cannot find currently, um, but I really like it. It's thin and like a nice comfortable texture, I guess. Um, this is it. I also wore it for my show, um, so it's kind of like a show shirt, but not really. Um, the brand is HR Farm, if you want it. I got it off of Amazon. And then the one I cannot find is a navy blue shirt. I actually haven't worn it yet, but it's literally this exact shirt, just navy blue, also from Amazon. So let's move on to the breeches. First, we're gonna start off with my favorite breeches. These ones are my favorite because they're really comfortable and like still like very sturdy. Um, and they're navy blue. Um, and I also really like how it has like a little snaffle bit. Um, it has pockets, it's a zip up, um, it has a fly and the button. It also has loopholes. Um, and then in the back, where there are back pockets and they have zippers for the back pockets. Um, and they're full seat breeches. You can't really see it that well, but they'll f they're full seat. Um, and then at the ends, they're actually like kind of like an ice fill in a way. Um, they're like slightly different texture from the rest. Let's see if I can show you. See, it's like slightly different texture. Um, but these are my favorite. They, I'm trying to get black versions of these without the snaffle bit. Um, but the brand is HR Farm as well from Amazon. So yeah, love them. Next are my tan breeches. Um, the brand is Willits. Um, I want better tan breeches that are more high quality. I got these from Amazon. I like breeches that have like the little button up in the front, but this, these ones don't. But I still like them because they have like the little pocket here that you can put stuff into. And whatnot um, and they are full seat I prefer full seat breeches but everyone has their own preferences I prefer full seat um, but they're pretty easy 
Brenda's Willets on um, uh, Willet on Amazon. <laughs> and my black breeches are also Willet brand. And they're also from Amazon. Uh, I actually really like Willet. They have like, their breeches are really nice. Um, again, with a little side pocket over here. Um, no back pockets. But again, they're full seat. You can't really see, but they're full seat. Um, and they're really thin and nice. Have the belt loops. And yeah, if, if I can't like, like these are my second pick, so. That's all for the breeches. I do have carrot ones somewhere, but I don't wear them. I haven't worn them in for months. So I'm not gonna be showing those because I don't really need to if I don't use them. Um, next we're gonna do my belts because I love my belts. So first I have this one. It's just like a circle clasp. Um, really cute. I actually use this like every day as well, like for everyday clothes. Um, I actually wore it today. I got it off of Amazon. Just look up riding belt and it'll literally, and it will literally immediately pop up. So I like this one a lot. Next, I have my two favorite belts. Um, they are just like the little, what do you even call this? I like to call it a blanket clasp because I don't know what else to call it because it doesn't really have a name, I guess. Um, but I call it a blanket clasp. But I have one in tan to match my mink. It doesn't really match, but it's okay. Um, and then a black. These are like what I wear all the time. They're really cute. I got them from Belts by Elise on Instagram. She, these are like really high quality. They're really nice. They like, they're adjustable. They're really nice. I love them. Definitely go and recommend. If you want cheaper belts that are also good quality, go to her. Um, but those are all the belts that I have. Last but not least for this video, I'm going to be showing my socks because riding socks are very important to me at least. So first I have my Costco socks. They're pretty much mentioned in every single video that I post. Y'all know my Costco socks. My Costco socks are what makes me a rider, but I can't use my Costco socks anymore because they're too thick and fluffy on the inside. So I have to find thinner ones. So these ones are only for the winter, sadly. Um, but they come in, I got them from like in three different shapes, deco designs. Um, I can't find the pairs right now because I'm too lazy to actually go and look. So yeah, here, that's them. Costco, love them. And last but not least, the summer socks that I'm actually going to be wearing from now on until winter comes back. Oh, I want winter to already come back and it's not even like fully summertime yet. So these are my summer socks. They're very thin up here and then thick up here and then thick down here and they are by Ovation. Um, I really like them actually. Um, they're, I got them at my local saddlery. I actually need to get more because this is the only pair I have and I really, really like them and I've been trying to find good thin socks. Um, and then Vivi got me these for my birthday. So thank you Vivi um, for giving me this recommendation and I love it. So yeah. So I forgot to mention my saddle. Um, this is a saddle cover. It came with the saddle. My saddle is by HDR. It's the HDR Memoir. Um, it's actually kind of small for, to me, or for me, sorry. Um, it's kind of small for me. Uh, it's a 16.5, I should have gotten a 17. Shush, no. No. Anyways, but yeah, I got it off of State Line Tack, and yes, Delilah. What? What? But anyway.
anyways that's my saddle all right so here's the tack trunk all put together so i've got all of my grooming supplies over here and then my ear bonnet bag right here and then my saddle pads half pads my boots my helmet um and then a little bucket with my crops um my brushing boots hair ties and then these i'm not going to keep in here much longer because i need to give them to um annabelle but yeah that is it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> and um please subscribe and if you want to watch more of my videos leave some questions down below give me some video ideas because i really need some uh, ideas because i'm running out <laughs> Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and go ahead and like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye.